Hi everybody, so today I'm gonna to show you some dynamic stretching. This is the type of stretching that you want to do before your workout. You don't wanna do static stretching before a workout. So this type of a stretch is really just to warm up your muscles and even before you do this, you can do five to 10 minutes of walking or even light jogging and even jumping ropes or jumping jacks. So what you wanna do for a dynamic stretch is simply just run through this sun salutation series with me. I'm gonna to go to the top of the mat. I'm gonna show you exactly what it looks like. So we're gonna just move through it nice and easy and pretty much just hold our poses for about one to three breaths and that's about it. So we're gonna inhale overhead, exhale bending at the knees, coming all the way down into a forward fold and maybe even just pulsate a little bit here for about two to three breaths. And then we're gonna step back with our right leg into a nice low lunge runner stretch. And here what I want you to do is just do some little knee taps, that's it. Bring that knee down, push it back. Once again, bring that knee down and push it back. This is just gonna dynamically warm up those hips. Go ahead and step all the way back into a plank pose. This is great for warming up your core and getting your shoulders nice and activated. For this first one, let's just bring those knees down. And we're gonna go ahead and exhale down nice and slowly, and then just push back up. Tuck the toes under, come back to our plank pose. Maybe even come into our downward facing dog. Walk out those feet, walk out those knees, bending each knee, pressing down through the opposite heel. And then let's stretch this right leg all the way forward. And if you can't get it all the way up here, what I really want you to focus on is having a 90 degree angle with this front leg and then little tiny knee taps here on this dynamic stretch. Okay, that is it. And we're gonna step out of it, exhaling down, releasing, little pulsating here and roll up. Bringing those arms overhead, pull down through the tailbone. Exhale, hands to your heart. Okay, and now to just to stretch the quads a little bit, what I want you to do is just like the old school stretch for the quads right before maybe running and um, you know in gym class they had to do this. This is perfect just for a couple breaths and then just alternate between the two legs. That's it. Okay, and then another thing I like to do is warm up and stretch the inside of the adductor muscles. So just kind of go from one side to the other. You can come on down as far as you can, just holding it for about a breath or two. Not too long here on these. And then over to the other side. Okay, and then the last thing I want you to do is just walk those feet in. See if you can come on down here into a little squatted position. This is great for warming up the ankles. See if you can get those heels down. If you can't get your heels down, a lot of times this is where we get compression. In my yoga practice, when I'm teaching students, if they start to come down and their heels raise, they probably have some compression. And so really you just gotta work with your body. And if this doesn't work for you, then don't even worry about it. All right, so just come back up. Always. Breathing, bringing that breath with you as you come up, stretching through the sides of the body, and exhale, hands to your heart. Okay, the next stretch we're gonna do is for the upper body. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take our hands, we're gonna interlace our fingers together. And this is easy chest opener. What I want you to do is tuck your chin a little bit and make sure your spine is nice and long. Just lift those arms up and back away from the body if you can. And that's it, nice easy stretch. You will feel this in the sides of your neck, the sternocleidomastoid. So once you release, go ahead and just shake them out, roll those shoulders, and then some arm swings would be really good, frontwards and even backwards, okay? So both ways, just a little bit to warm up the shoulders, the front and rear delts. And then the last thing that you can do is take your arms, this is gonna work your upper back, your traps and your rhomboids. So take your arms out to a T. You're gonna cross your right arm over the left, crossing above the elbows, and then glue them together. Bring the back side of the forearms together. This bottom hand is gonna reach around just to get some leverage. Your goal is not to get your fingers together, just get some leverage on this. 
And then what you do here is just keep your spine nice and tall, draw the navel back to the spine, and lift those elbows up. Breathe into it. About two to three breaths each side. This is fantastic stretch for the arms. And then when you're done with this, I want you once again, do some swings, take your hands behind you, shake them out because it does compress you at the chest a little bit, and then go ahead and do the other side. Just a little bit of stretching here for the upper back, both sides, it feels really good. And then you can do that actually any time during the week when you're working at a desk and you feel kind of tight. And that's it. So run through that stretch before you get started on any type of workout, just to loosen you up a little bit, make sure you're warm, and this does it for you. So it will warm you up and get you nice and ready for your workout.